the billion dollar innovation refers to type 2 catalyst technology. Type 2 catalysts were a new generation of catalysts that swept through the hydroprocessing catalyst market by Stampede in 2004 in what has actually been worth tens of billions to the refining industry. So when I call this the billion dollar innovation, I am understating it. To tell the story of this great innovation, I like to point to three specific events that took place over a period of 20 years. The first event was Halder Thompson's 1984 discovery of Type II catalysts. In July 1984, Topso published a paper containing this chart, showing how they had discovered a kind of nanostructure that gave 50 times higher desulfurization activity. They called it a Type II active site. This 1984 discovery by Halder Topso triggered the development of early Type II catalysts. Refiners mostly ignored Type II catalysts until 1998, when AXO introduced STARS catalysts. AXO's rollout of STARS Type II catalysts was a great commercial innovation. AXO combined lots of good marketing with lots of good technical data to show how STARS catalysts could double cycle life on diesel hydrotreaters. They did this in a very effective way that caught the attention of refiners and provided a compelling case to start using these new catalysts. The third event was the 2004 Type II Catalyst Stampede. This stampede was triggered by the looming deadline to make clean diesel in the United States. Refiners were pressed against the wall to make clean diesel, and they really had no choice but to start using these more active catalysts. This led to a supply sque squeeze and two-year waiting list for Type II Catalysts. For the rest of this presentation, I will focus on this third event, the Type II Catalyst Stampede. In 2004, with the looming deadline to make clean diesel, there was a supply squeeze and a stampede to buy Type II catalysts from AXO and Criterion, who were the market leaders. This was outright panic buying. The conventional wisdom in 2004 was, if you don't commit now to buy from AXO or Criterion, you won't be able to make clean diesel and you'll end up at the back of a two-year waiting line. Everyone needed these catalysts and there was already a two-year backlog. Understandably, this scared some refiners. They were signing five-year commitments at huge price premiums to secure a supply of Type II catalysts from the market leaders, AXO and Criterion. But in fact, this was a false panic because, contrary to conventional wisdom, AXO and Criterion were not the only suppliers of Type II catalysts for clean diesel. Remember, by 2004, Type II catalyst technology was already 20 years old. Five suppliers had catalysts with performance equal to AXO and Criterion. Topso, for one, had invented the technology and had 20 years of development experience. More aware and flexible catalyst buyers didn't just join the stampede, they went to Topso and others who were eager to sell equivalent catalysts with no long-term commitment at big discounts to the panic price. For these more aware, flexible buyers, there was no crisis, no reason to get caught up in a stampede, no need to panic. How big were the panic price premiums? This chart shows 2004 price premiums for Type II equivalent catalysts. Axons and Art had the lowest prices. Topso was 20% higher. Criterion and Axo were 80% higher and UOP, who sold rebranded AXO and Criterion Catalyst, was double the price. Refiners who joined the stampede by restricting themselves to Criterion and AXO Catalyst paid 80% premiums, while the flexible buyers bought all the Type II Catalyst they wanted whenever they wanted it with short lead times at 80% discount to the panic price. As an aside, I want to point out here that in our multi-client testing program, we have now tested all these 2004 vintage Type II competitive catalysts, and I can confirm to you they are essentially equivalent. Now, you may be thinking this was just a one-time event and that big price premiums are an anomaly, but that's not true. This kind of pricing persisted for several years after the original 2004 stampede. And ever since then, there have continued to be big differences in competitive product prices. 
For example, here in orange, I have added some recent data from a bid for a large multi-year contract. Looking now at the orange bars, we see that Axons and Art were still the lowest price. Topso was 35% higher, Criterion 55% higher, and Axo, who is now Albemarle, bid right down there with Axons and Art. Albemarle priced aggressively to win this business away from Criterion. In doing comparisons like this, you always need to be comparing apples to apples, that is, catalysts that are technically equivalent. That's why we have an ongoing program to test and rank competitive catalysts using a standard pilot plant test that is fit for this purpose. In our multi-client catalyst testing program, we have now tested 36 catalyst samples over five years and ranked them in a way that permits you to identify competitive equivalents. This, along with our ongoing market research, gives what you need to use this strategy. The Type 2 catalyst story is an especially interesting case because it was driven by a big step improvement in catalyst technology. A lot has happened in catalyst technology since AXO's introduction of STARS catalysts in 1998. And there are many more recent stories with the same theme. Sometimes the story is driven by external market changes that have nothing to do with technology. For example, here are some more recent catalyst stories with the same theme. In these cases, external change in the market caused huge opportunities or costs for catalyst buyers, depending on your flexibility. That's the theme of these stories, the value of flexibility. More new catalysts are coming out this year. How will you know whether to believe the claims suppliers make about them? And what are metals prices doing? I'll tell you now, molybdenum is going up again as we speak. We help our clients be aware of these things before their supplier walks in with another surprise price increase. Let's face it, Catalyst is a challenging purchase today. Forty years ago, most refiners developed their own catalysts and had whole teams of in-house catalyst experts. Now this is a third-party purchase. Some engineers spend months sorting through piles of brochures and presentations without the benefit of any objective data or catalyst know-how. Most of them are willing to work very hard to make the right decision for their unit, but too often they end up confused and frustrated. It shouldn't be that way. We have helped many dozens of engineers choose catalysts, and we know that when they see good independent test data and good market research data, they're hooked. It's not only engineers who get hooked, but business managers too, because some refiners spend over $100 million per year on catalyst. That's a big third-party spend, and there's a lot you can do to manage it. We believe that awareness and flexibility are the keys. Awareness comes from independent testing and market research. Flexibility comes from you being willing to use that information to open your business to more suppliers. Awareness and flexibility position you to manage your catalyst selection process instead of being managed by your supplier. Awareness and flexibility are what we bring to the table. We bring the independent test data that makes you aware of the best catalysts and we bring the market research that enables you to adopt a flexible strategy. This works. Our clients have proven it. And when a team gets together to do this challenging work in a better way at your refinery, it's not only profitable for your company, it's also very rewarding for everyone involved. If you want to try a new way to choose catalysts, there's no need to wait. What you need is already available in four annual reports from our multi-client independent catalyst testing program. Each issue of independent catalyst test report contains another year's worth of new test data and rankings for eight more catalysts. It also includes product and market research with unique insights on the catalyst business, like what I showed you today on catalyst pricing. Four of these annual reports are already available for immediate delivery to anyone, and the fifth will be released later this year. When you buy into our program, you can take this information and run with it, and you will see tangible benefits with your next Catalyst purchase. Or, if you want, we will help you use the information to land benefits with your next Catalyst purchase at no additional cost to you. 
and all of this is very easily affordable for any refiner. Thanks a lot for taking the time to listen. Please contact us at any time.